If you load up the ensemble patch, there's actually some options for the configuration and mixing of the ensemble that you have access to that can help you make the ensemble a little bit more like what you're looking for. So if you take a look, I've loaded up the brass ensemble right now. And if I click on the ensemble button here, I will have access to the ensemble window and the section setup. So right here, I've got a couple of things. First, I've got the mixer up top. If I want to volume balance any of the sections, if I decide that the tubas are not quite as loud as the trombones, I might jack the tubas a little bit and bring the trombones down a little to make a smoother transition. Now, I've also got the ensemble ranges located here, which are duplicated in the colors down here at the bottom. So I can easily adjust the bottom and top note of each range. I've also got a link button, and that links the top note of the horns with the bottom note of the trumpets. And same with the tubas and trombones, or the trombones and the horns. So easily, as I adjust the top or bottom note of the trumpets, you'll see the top note of the horns moves along with it. And if you look at the colored section down at the bottom, you'll see that representation switching around as well. So you can easily decide if you'd like the trumpets to play a little bit lower before it transitioned into the horns. Now, another cool thing is that it'll automatically extend the range of an instrument if you take one out. So if I take the horns out, watch what happens to the trombones. The trombone range pops up, and the trumpet range goes down, and now the trombones and trumpets are <laughs> inexorably linked. And as I move that, it'll move the other note of the trumpets as much as possible. Okay. At some point, the trumpets will not be able to play that low, so that might cause an issue. Now, another cool thing is you can unlink these instruments and start to get some bleed. So if you do want to have trumpets and horns playing at the same time in their range, and this is this works really well if you are a player who you want to, you know, play live and use this instrument to play some convincing brass sounds and you want to just play and make sure that it sounds nice and full, but also make sure that you're getting instruments that are in their own range, this comes in very handy. So you deactivate the link. And now I'll just lower the trumpets and bring them into the horn range a little, and I'll raise the horn range a little. So now we've got some overlap. Look at that lowest trumpet note. So I'll, I'll take the overlap away. Let me play a note here. Just horns. But now I brought the trumpets down into the mix. And I can do the same with the horns here. Right now it's just horns. I'll unlink them. I'll bring the trombones up in the mix and the horns down in the mix. So you're getting a lot more mix. You can unlink them all. You can give them their full range if you want to. Um, and then you'll just have a nice big brass sound that spreads the gamut of the keyboard. And it's not going to play the trumpets where it can't make trumpets. It's not going to play the tubas where it can't make tubas. You might want to restrict it a little just so that you're not on the outer edge of what those instruments play. But... But that can make for a pretty cool brass instrument that you can play live. So you've got a lot of control. You can link them up and have them not overlap. And then you can go back in and um, get them. If, if you make some manipulations that you don't like, you can always just cycle back and forth. And you're back to normal again.